percent weighted final year from NIT Jalandhar. I have recently got an offer from Optum, and I am here to share my interview experience. Optum is an American health group provider, which is controlled by United Health Group since 2011, which is ranked sixth in the Fortune 500 list, and it is the fastest growing unit of United Health Group. There was one written test followed by two interview rounds in this placement drive. The online written test was of around one hour and thirty minutes, which consisted of one coding question, medium level difficulty, and followed by around fifty MCQs. And the total test was of hundred marks. The MCQs were from PBMS, Operating System, Computer Science, and General Aptitude. And uh, the difficulty level of these MCQs was medium again. And after this online test, 57 students were shortlisted for the next technical interview. Talking about the technical interview, it was conducted on the Microsoft Teams, which was around 30 to 40 minutes long. And the interview started with the interviewer asking about a brief introduction of mine. And after the introduction, he started asking me some technical questions. The technical questions that I got in the interview were about the difference between Java and C++. Does Java support pointers or not? And whether Java is platform independent or not? And if yes, explain how it is platform independent. And uh, what is thread? And what is multi-threading? And what are the benefits of multi-threading? And what is what do you mean by object-oriented programming? Some characteristics of it, and you have to explain it with practical examples. And uh, what is semaphores? And uh, what is data structures? What is the difference between a linear and non-linear linear data structures? And what are the demerits of pointers? The technical interview ended with this, and after that, I got selected for the next round, which was the HR round. It was a telephonic call, and uh, in the HR round, they asked me some general questions like, "Tell me about yourself. What are your hobbies? And what are your favorite sports?" And it was a uh, it went for around 15 to 20 minutes, and at the end, my mom asked me if I have any location preference, and then she explained me about the offices of Optum that are located all over India, and she asked me if I have any question for her, which was sure I asked her. I asked her about the uh, what are the roles and responsibilities if I get hired in the company Optum, and what are the company's expectations from me as a fresher. And I'm explaining me everything very nicely. So with this, the interview uh, process ended, and after it, her team students got full time roles, and I was one among them. And talking about my projects, I have done many projects in these four years. Um, some of them are handwritten digit recognition on um, MS dataset and Hindi language detection, which was on Devanagari dataset. Which I have done using machine learning, and uh, there are some React JS projects like the Weather app in which I have integrated external API, and the Restaurant app in which I have developed the front end, and a really responsive website using React JS, and uh, some other projects are like uh, JSM based home automation, which is a Arduino based project in which I have controlled the home appliances. With uh, using my mobile phone. So, if you aim to crack Optum interviews, I suggest you to prepare data structures and algorithms, that uh, database management system and operating system, at a very good level. So that's all from my end. All the best for your future, and you can contact me at my LinkedIn. You can find the link at the talks page of aim to crack dot in website. and thank you aim to crack team for this opportunity as well